Hello, B Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to build an adjustable speed strobe light circuit, the one you may have seen in a previous video. Well, I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving if you live in the US. I know I did, and I hope you did too. At the heart of today's strobe light circuit is the 555 IC timer, and we're going to use that with our 36 clear LEDs. And when you use the clear LEDs, it is a very bright strobe light, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, without further ado, let's get started. The components I used for this video include a 1 meg ohm or million ohm variable resistor, two 10,000 ohm resistors, a 1 microfarad capacitor, and a 10 nanofarad capacitor, a P channel MOSFET, a 555 timer IC a single pole double throw breadboard switch, a nine volt battery. I've also used as little as three AA batteries and that does just as well. Also a whole bunch of male to male jumper wires and a breadboard and 36 clear LEDs. This is five millimeter LEDs. And I went ahead and put them in a six by six pattern here because it takes so long to do. I just did it prior to the video. And here is a look at everything that I just mentioned. We'll start off by placing our switch on the breadboard. It is a single pole double throw slide switch. And the way this works is it has three pins. And I'll connect one pin to the positive and the middle pin to the negative. And when you pull the switch down, it is on. And when you push the switch up, it is off. Now we'll connect our middle pin to the ground rail. And then our pin on the right here to the positive rail. Now I place another jumper on the positive pin of our switch and now it's time to place our variable resistor which is also called a potentiometer and you'll notice that there's three pins on the bottom of it. I'm going to place it with two pins facing toward the top of the breadboard and one pin facing toward the bottom of the breadboard.
plug it into a 9 volt battery here and as you can see it's pretty bright and not as bright as it should be we'll go ahead and turn it off and then turn it back on using our switch here and it looks like this battery is pretty low which is good because I'll be able to show you the pulsing without the really bright lights that affect the camera so it, you can go from a really slow pulse to a really quick fast pulse just by adjusting the potentiometer and you can take the pulse up so high that it hardly looks like it's pulsing and then you can take it down pretty slow but since this battery is dying let me put in some fresh batteries and show you how bright it is this is the battery pack with three nickel metal hydride batteries Amazon basics just cheap rechargeable batteries and you can already see the difference uh, it makes whenever you have fresh batteries in it it is extremely bright and if you put it in a dark room it's it's really bright and it can give you a headache but here it is and as I turn a potentiometer you can hardly see the strobe because it's so bright but uh, believe me it looks a lot different in person so if you're looking for a bright homemade strobe light I think this one will do well that's all I've got for today I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.